Hi everybody, it's me Ryan, and welcome back to another episode of Death to the Ender Dragon. In last episode, if you missed it, we worked on the Potion Brewmatic version 1.0. That's what I decided to name it. If you did watch last episode, I, it looks a little bit different than how I had it before. Uh, we had a chest here just to, de to deposit our materials and our potions and whatnot, but I decided to move that to here with a hopper, so whenever it's finished with the potions, it'll just automatically put them in here. Um, let's see, I added this, put a border around this. It's still a work in progress. I made some fermented spider eye so we can make potions of harming uh, for something that we're going to be doing later. And I also hooked up, like I told you in the last episode, I hooked up that... Uh, let me put these away. I went ahead and hooked up the uh, nether wart collection sort of system. So there's a hopper here in this corner now. So all I have to do is just grab some nether wart. Like this. Okay, and then if you want to throw the whole stack without going into your inventory, you just hit Control and Q. And there's a whole stack. So it throws it down in there and goes right into my nether wart uh, dropper. And we're good to go. So in here I have some stone cooking up, which is just about finished. And because we have another little project today, uh, something I thought of, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, something I thought of yesterday. You'll see. Blaze farm. That's going to be our project for today, is to make a blaze farm. Um, I have some materials already gathered up. I have quartz, because we're going to need to use comparators. And also some sticky pistons, and we also need smooth stone to make some uh, stone pressure plates. I'm just going to actually make some more. So I was in another already, just gathering the, the quartz, and I just stopped by the the blade spotter and just took a look at it. And it's in a pretty good spot for us to make a farm. It's not too out in the open, but it's not too blocked into where it's a pain in the butt to make a, make a farm. So that's pretty ideal. So make some more sugar. That's good to put it in the back. And sugar is right... Let me put a torch up here. Sugar is right here. Yep. Okay. So that's going to be our project for today. It's going to be a little bit of a longer project. I, I've i made, let's see, three or four blaze farms in the past. I... Let me think. I made one in... Uh, the Xbox version last night, it worked pretty well. I just couldn't put the timer in because we didn't have comparators in that version. So I, th I thought, well, might as well make one in our uh, Destiny to the Ender Dragon world. I can't talk. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting sick again. I have a sore throat, and I hope that's all it stays at. As. Um, so hopefully I don't die on you. Okay, we're gonna need so we're just let's just get some of this stuff together. We're gonna need, let me think. Uh eight. Was it eight? Yeah. We're gonna need eight stone pressure plates. There, I'll just There. Okay, so we have eight stone pressure plates. This is our project box here. Is if we if we're doing projects, I thought if we're gonna do some projects, uh, we'll have a little project box here to put our materials in. So glasses for that that too. What else? Um, stone. Some of this red stone. Some wood. Uh, these I need to put away somewhere. Do I have any others? Okay, oh, 50 potatoes. Let's m move these, those around somewhere. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. So one thing I actually do want to do real fast before we get into the blaze farm is uh, run outside real fast. Oh, death time. Eh, we'll be alright. But yeah, we're alright. Um, I've been breeding up the the cows a good bit. What I want to do now is actually open this up. Just get rid of these chickens. We don't, chickens really don't matter. Uh, I'd rather have a bigger cow farm. 
Okay, so I just want them to sort of be able to move around a little bit more so we can breed more as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and clear some of these out like I promised. So we got a couple pieces of leather. We're just looking at a leather count here pretty much. Four, five, seven, nine, oh, there's a piece. Eleven, how I many we have left here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll kill two more. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six left. Okay, so we have six cows left on our farm. We got thirteen pieces of leather. Yeah, we can go ahead and breed them up. I couldn't breed anymore because they were actually getting too uh, packed up in there. And you in the back. There you go. Okay, so now we have some baby cows about, running about. And we can just let them grow up. There's a spider I need to kill real fast. Hang on. Spider eye? Thank you. Yeah, we're going to need some spider eyes uh, so we can make... From, ooh, hey. A fermented spider eye so we can make a potion of harming uh, to help us clear out the blazes once they collect in our farm. Okay, so let's go ahead and I put a pressure plate here so the door closes on itself, on itself by itself. So let's see here. What we need to do is just cook this up. Oop. And what we can do now is one thing I I just thought of this. It'd be pretty neat. Uh, what I wanted to do was just make one item frame for right now. And we're going to put the the project book in here so that we can so we can have it. So there it is. Everything's still in it. Yeah, the neat thing about the new item frames, the way they work, instead of when you hit it once, the entire thing doesn't, the frame and the item doesn't fall out. It's just you hit it once, item comes out, hit it again, frame comes out. So it, it's a lot nicer. So we'll put our project book there just so we don't have to carry it around too much anymore. And also, I'm going to put our spider eyes away. Put them in here for right now. Okay, so we're going to need... Uh, let's see, what are we going to need? We're going to need some wood here. So we're going to go grab some of that. Okay. And I'm level 24. I was down there. I was actually getting... The quartz gives you uh, quite a lot of XP, if you guys didn't know that. There's some... Why is that in there? Oh it's, oh, it's oh, it's coal. Okay, I thought it was charcoal. Six. Nope. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go gonna go get some wood. There's my axe. And then we're gonna come back because we're gonna need. Do we need any? Actually, you know what? I have 32 pieces here. I think we should be good on wood. If if we need it, I'll just come back and get it. I'll come back and just cut away from the camera just to get a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the nether and get started. Uh, so I'm going to take two speed potions with me. And two fire resistance potions. Because I'll probably have to come back here for materials, so that's why I'm not taking too much stuff with me. Uh, let's see, we have blaze powder here. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually let's fire up the potion brewomatic. If anybody missed the last episode, you'll get to see it in action. So we just fill our bottles up. Wait a minute, is that gonna is that gonna suck them out as soon as I put them in there? Yep, it did. Uh. Okay, well I never thought about that. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just forget about that for right now. I'll figure it out. That's not the point of this episode today. Okay, we're going to put our bottles in. Okay. And of course, for every potion, you're going to need some nether wart. Press the button. So it's in there brewing. And then we're, we're going to make... What are we going to make this time? We're going to make... Um... Hmm. We have speed, speed potions. Let's go ahead and make some magma... Or make some fire resistance potions. Oh, we don't have any magma cream. Do we not have any magma cream? We don't. Oh. Well. Take some of that and take some of these. 
Yeah, we gotta get more slime balls too. One of these days. We have two of those. Uh, what number is that? One, two, three, four, five. Fifth one over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's magma cream. I thought we had some in there. I could have sworn we did. I guess not. Okay, anyway. Hit the magma cream button. It'll come down the pipe. There it is. And we're going to want to put some redstone in to make this... See, it's already queued up to make this a 8-minute potion. So basically, it just uses a hopper system as, like, pipes. And you can press a whole bunch of buttons at the same time. And if there's enough room in the hopper, we have one, two, three, we have five spaces. If you have enough room in the hopper, it'll just queue it up in there. And as soon as there is an empty space in wherever it's supposed to go, in this case, a brewing stand, uh, it'll pop in the next item. So we have our fire resistance potions, three minutes. And with our redstone going in, excuse me, we will have very shortly eight minute fire resistance potions. So just get a couple extra of those, and we'll go ahead and make some more swiftness potions while we're at it. Alright, so boom, boom, boom. And we're just going to let these go. Uh, so we're just going to need nether wart, sugar, and redstone. Are we good? Alright. We'll just leave those go for right now. We'll come back and get them later. So I'll put this away, and we're going to go ahead and go into the nether now. And we're going to get started. So I'm going to need, at this very moment, I'm going to need my glass, my blocks. Do I have any extra cobblestone? I do. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to take it all. I'm probably going to even need more eventually. This is going to be a, this is a big project. So let's go ahead to the nether, and we'll get started. Uh, whenever I do this, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to just build the entire thing on camera, because that would be crazy, because it would, it's going to take me quite a while to do. So I'm just going to sort of build it in stages and show you guys like the progress that I made. Hey, 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 hey. So, if, but if you guys do want a, a tutorial or want me to show it in depth uh, once I'm finished building it, um, let me know and I'll put one together. Okay, I added some safety rails here so we don't fall off. Because it gassed. Don't shoot at me, stop it! Wait, was it? Okay. Hey, stop! Would you quit it? Let's see if we got any drops. Uh, well, our XP. Hey, gas tier. There we go. That's always nice. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this I'll just build it in stages and show you guys the progress that I made. Because I think yesterday when I built this on Xbox, uh, I died a couple times from falling. Because the fortress was in a really weird place. I shouldn't have that problem here. Um, gas blew me up a couple times. It made me fall. Uh, so altogether, it probably took me about two hours maybe to put together or so. Maybe a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. But it took me quite a while, so I don't want to bore you guys too much. Get a two-hour long video coming in. Now, uh, was it this way? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to need to get some blocks. What we're going to need to do is take our fire resistance potions. Can't believe I didn't drink that already. Swiftness potion. Alright, get the next batch queued up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to basically kind of clear some of this away. I should have brought another pickaxe. I'm probably going to have to go back here pretty soon. Um, so what we're going to do is just clear this out, this nether fence get this out of here and we're going to make a nine by nine by three deep uh, box pretty much around these guys so what's and we got fire resistance so we don't have to worry about you you know stop it we've already had this conversation stop Anyway, so that's that. So we're going to do 3x3x9, three by three by or 9x9x3, nine by nine by that's what I meant to say. Stop. So four blocks on each side. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three. Now I'll die if I fall from this height. Three, four, so I have to be careful. And then two. Hey! Get, get, go. Get out of here. Take a hike. Okay. Eventually these guys will stop spawning because I'll cut off their spawning ability pretty much. One, two, uh, three. I've got to be careful right here. Right four. Wish I had feather falling boots. That's one thing maybe I should try to get. I gotta make more bookcases. Okay. Uh, one, one, two, three. Force. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Stop. Okay, so this is nine by nine right here. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of clear this out and make our box, and then I'll come back and show you guys the progress. Alright, I had to come back uh, because my pickaxe broke, and plus I needed some more blocks. I used actually perfect amount uh, that three stacks of cobblestone that I took with me um, so I brought one two three four four more stacks <clears throat> I still have some I'll bring an extra stack just in case I'm going in this time I'm taking some iron I'm taking some extra potions some wood a crafting bench just so that I can stay there for longer without having to come back and put my map away just in case I die but the reason why I started the video uh, here is be whoa is because I wanted to go ahead and make some more bookcases uh, because we have some sugar cane I think here yep I have a whole stack of sugar cane so we're gonna make a couple more bookcases to get us closer to our full enchanting power so we're gonna make some paper alright 63 pieces of paper and then go up like this and make some books, make 12. So, 3, 6, 9. That's good for four more bookcases. Split this in half. So that's 7. 7, 4. Okay, we still have 19 pieces of wood left. Okay, four more bookcases. Let's put them in. 1, 2, 3, 4. We haven't done this in a while. Okay. So, we have four more bookcases, and let's go ahead and enchant this pick. See if we can get up to 14. Is that 15? 14, 15, we'll do a 14. See, we get... That's not bad. Unbreaking 2, Efficiency 2, not bad at all. And I do want to actually... Uh, uh never mind. Uh, let's see here. I might as well... Let's go ahead and make another. We'll make another pickaxe. And then we will go back to another. See if we can get off this one. This is I only have a level eleven, so let's see if we get eight, seven, seven. We get another eight. Five. Seven. Eight. Unbreaking two? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna go back to another and do some more work and I will come back to you guys when I'm finished. Okay, so I'm still in the nether, still working on the blaze farm. I'll show you what I have right now. So I made... Ooh, hey. Magma cube. I made my... Cube... Let's see if we can get anything from him. No? No. Okay, I went ahead and made the 3x3... Three three, or 9x9x3, nine by nine by sorry, uh, square. I put glass here. These cobblestone blocks, after we're all finished, will come out. This just pretty much blocks the blazes from spawning. Uh, so now what I'm going to do, uh, I have this, this is where our spawner is, right in, in the dead center. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have two, let's see, is it one, two, one, two, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is, is it on the corners? Well, I'll do it like this. So I want to keep the same, I'm trying to go for the same kind of style here. So I'm going to go two blocks down like this, all the way around. And then put, see, I have a whole bunch of nether, nether brick because I'm digging all this out. Put another brick on the bottom, just like that, all the way around. Um, and it's pretty much it. So on the top, actually, I'll show you. I have to jump up here. 
on the top. Uh oh. I have spots. You see the holes. That's going to be for lava. To do lava lighting so we can shut it off if we ever need to. If there's a problem. Um, because they cannot spawn, I think, above a light level 16, I want to say. There's 16 or 15. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to keep working and I'll give you guys updates along the way. Okay. Um, here's another update. I installed the piston pusher system. Uh, and a funneling sort of system into our spawner. Uh, this is taking me about f a half an hour to do uh, because I got screwed up on my dimensions and I was making everything wrong. And I was wondering why, it, oh, wondering why it didn't want to work. But I have it all figured out now, and I'll show you. Give you a little demonstration here. Okay, so the blazes, they spawn in and they fall into this chamber. <gasps> Ooh! Hold on. Please tell me I have another one. Okay, I have to go back. Okay, anyway, uh, as you see, they spawn in and they come down here. Um, and they'll just float around and then we have our piston pushers set up here. And we fall on this one. It's going to push us. See these two activated? these two activate and it basically puts you in the center and so now what we have to I really just break my circuit I did okay let me just fix that real fast so I forgot how the heck to get out of here okay here we go boom bam boom okay so now what I have to do is just make a little funnel for all the a smaller one for all the blazes to gather up together and uh, make a crusher system. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will return. Okay, I'm back with this monstrosity. I've been gone for about 45 minutes now. I had a huge problem with the circuitry. Um, this lever controls the glass block, which is just a blocker so that no more blazes can get in, and this bottom one controls the crusher. Uh, when I flicked the lever, both of them were coming out, um, and I realized that I didn't make a big enough, well, it's it works, but I should have had a bigger area to do the circuits in because it was connecting with another circuit. Um, so anyway, this top one, once the blazes funnel down in here, we still have the blocks up in there, by the way. Um, once the blazes funnel in here, we click on that, close them so nobody else can get in here, and then we push this button, and this pulse length is long enough to take the blazes down to, I believe, a half a heart. And then we could use a potion of harming if we want, or we just one shot them, and they'll be done. So I made this uh, little wall here, and I also made a little staircase for myself. So what we can do now is we can probably go ahead and clear out these blocks. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll give it a test. Okay, so we're all finished. I just cleared it out, and I just... Uh, step back and a couple blazes. I don't know if you saw them. They spawned in there. They're there. Uh, so we'll just see how it is. Uh, one thing I did not do for this spawner. So I didn't put in the lava lightning because there was just so much. There's two more. There was just a whole bunch of extra work and I didn't feel like messing around with this thing anymore. I think I've worked on this thing for over an hour and I really didn't want to. Uh, do that. So, let's go ahead down here if we don't get... Sh oh, God. Please don't break my circuitry. Okay, my circuit's good. Okay. Okay. So we have a couple blazes... Wow, this is loud. A couple blazes in here, so we're just gonna... Close them here and then hit this button. And give us a couple seconds. And stop! I think my circuitry just broke. Yep, it definitely broke then. You be freaking kidding me. All right. Anyway, let's see here. Let's get down here and go 
get in there. Come on. There we go. Okay, a couple. Put some more in. Close it. And it seems like it's still working. I have to close this all off with cobblestone, but I'll do that later. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, that's our, that was our little project. This thing still has some work that needs to be done to it, but this is just the basic uh, functionality of everything. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and go... Actually, no, I'll just end the episode here. Okay, well, that's the blaze spawner. Uh, tr farm trap. Oh, Rama. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought, a lot longer than I planned, but uh, hopefully we'll get some good use out of this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.